Unsolved K-12 was a conference that took place November 15th through 17th, 2013. The objective was to find those gems that belong in every child's experience of mathematics. Unsolved problems. We wanted to find 13 of them, one for each grade, K through 12. The venue was the Banff International Research Station, and here are the people who attended the conference. They're both educators and mathematicians. You can imagine that not all of us agreed all of the time. This was especially true for the number one question, and that was whether these problems should have a million dollar reward attached to them. The prize money to be split between the person who solves the problem and their most inspirational K-12 teacher. Here are the criteria used to select the unsolved problems. The problem must be curricular. You might think that the Goldbach conjecture, which states that any even number over two is a sum of two primes, you might think that that's suitable for a grade six curriculum because of prime numbers, but it relies too much on addition, so this problem was not considered. The unsolved problem must be fun. You can imagine that it's quite easy to find unsolved problems of mathematics that just squelch children, so we have to be very careful that they are fun. They also can't be confusing to students. Some of these problems they have unique ways of looking at things, and some students get confused, and we can't have that. They have to be cheap to implement and easy for, for teachers to get enthusiastic about. So, for example, Peruto, or Liar's Dice, uses dice in the classroom, and those dice are not very expensive. You could come up with a game that would be fantastic curricularly, but just cost way too much. These unsolved problems also have to be worthy of mathematicians. So, for example, the 196 palindrome problem is unsolved, but many mathematicians are just turn up their noses at it. Not very appealing. You also want to have these 13 problems as varied as possible. We don't want all of the problems from one area of mathematics, like number theory, and you don't want them all to be games. You want a mixture. We also want to develop stories for all of these games. Right now, we don't have stories for all of the games, but this is a way to probably add an extra 10% of students into the excitement of doing these problems, uh, students that would otherwise not be engaged. Lastly, we want to avoid the white man problem. Most of these problems are from white men. We would really like to have problems from different ethnic groups and from some females. Now, it's time for you to go and explore uh, the K through 5 unsolved problems. We're pretty sure that those are pretty good. 9 through 11, pretty sure that those are pretty good. But for 6, 7, 8, and 12, there's still a lot of room for you to help.